today's video is going to be a wand wand a one brand tutorial using all wet and wild products the only things that are not wet and wild products are brushes because I actually only have one wet mob brush and it's filthy. So using affordable brushes, but everything else is going to be all wet wild products. I definitely tried out some new stuff I've never tried before. Wet n Wild is a brand that I personally love. I think Wet n Wild has definitely stepped up their game as far as like makeup range, what they have and the quality of it. And it's so inexpensive. So I, they came out with a ton of new stuff and I wanted to get hands on a lot of it. So a lot of these products I actually have never used before. Um, so you'll see if I like them or not in the video. Um, and if you want to see how to, how to, oh my god, I'm so stupid. If you'd like to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. All right, guys, so my face is all prepped. It's washed and moisturized. So we're going to take the Photo Focus uh, face primer, and we're just going to put that all over our face. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this primer. Um, it defi I definitely like to use it because it feels like a moisturizer, but as far as like refining pores and all that jazz, like I'm not, I don't really have the greatest luck with that. So um, after that, we're going to take the Photo Focus Foundation. I am in the color Soft Ivory, and I'm going to take it on my Morphe sponge. I'm just going to blend it out all over my face. Um, this has quickly become one of my favorite foundations. I have recently just rediscovered it in my collection, and I haven't been able to put it down. Um, I've been using it over my holy grail foundation that I've been using honestly straight for the past like five months so for this to come and replace that speaks volumes I think about how much I'm really really liking um, this foundation at the moment so it's a really good drugstore option if you are on a budget or you just you want to try something new this is definitely a good one to try so I discovered that I don't have a wet wild concealer um, I remember looking when I was shopping for all this stuff that they all looked super dark so I'm just gonna take this NYX HD studio um, concealer this is in the color too I'm just gonna use this for the time being it's a drugstore option it's a good concealer too if you are looking for one um, but I'm just gonna blend that out with the same sponge and then I'm gonna go into the contouring palette This is in the one Dolce de Leche and I'm gonna take the banana color to set my eyes This is technically supposed to be like an under eye brightening Kind of shade, but it's honestly the same color as my skin. So I'm using it to set my under eye It does a pretty good job as well then I'm going to take the Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Warm Light, I believe, and I'm taking it on my Morphe E41. This is my absolute favorite way to set my whole entire face because it's done in two seconds because the brush is freaking so enormous. It's amazing, though. Then I'm going to take that contour shade in that same palette and I'm gonna take it on a R10 brush. I'm not going to bronze my whole face, which is something that I normally do because I'm pale AF, but I'm actually going to just do a very soft contour on my cheekbones, um, around my forehead, the chin, and then I'm going to take whatever is left on my brush and just kind of run it against my nose. Um, I don't really want to contour my nose. I'm not a nose contour either as well. so. I really just want to add color to the middle of my face so <laughs> people can see my nose if we take pictures because that's definitely a problem I seem to have. So once we're done with that, I'm going to take these two highlighters. This is in the color Golden Flower Crown and Blossom Glow. I believe these are two new ones. Um, I've really been liking these. I've been reaching for these as well on the daily. Um, Golden Flower Crown is a tiny bit too dark for me, so I've been using Blossom Glow the most. It's a really nice pink one. I'm just going to highlight all the high points of my face. And then here I go. I cannot believe I dropped all those freaking blushes. It's so annoying. But I'm going to take, this is my absolute favorite Wet n Wild blush. This is in Rose Champagne. And I am taking it on an E4. And I am just putting that on my cheek, obviously, where blush glows. And then I'm going to just going to blend it out, blend it all together, make sure it's all seamless with a Sonia Kashuk number 115 brush. And then you can kind of see I'm looking at my face and I'm like, mm, something's a little off. 
So I'm actually going to go back into that contour and highlight palette. I'm going to take the banana shade and kind of just cut my contour a little bit, kind of clean it up. I'm taking it on that Morphe sponge and um, this is definitely a good tip if for whatever reason you feel like your contour or even your blush, if it's become a little sloppy, um, take any pressed powder, loose powder, any kind of powder and just kind of bake underneath it. It definitely helps to clean it up. Um, and then I'm going to do my brows. I'm not the best at brows, so please don't judge me. Um, <laughs> I'm taking the Wet n Wild, uh, obviously it's Wet n Wild, Angel does a full face Wet n Wild tutorial. Um, this is a retractable brow pencil. This is in the color taupe. Um, I actually really like this pencil. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I was not expecting a whole lot from it. The spoolie is actually all right, so I'm actually, I'm actually kind of all for this pencil. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe away that bake a little bit. Now it's a lot cleaner. It's, it looked a lot nicer than I thought before. So I'm going to just set my whole face now that it's done with the setting spray. It shot at my face so hardcore the first time and that's why I'm being over dramatic and like choking but that's what happened. Then I'm going to take the eyeshadow primer. This is a really good drugstore primer if you are looking for one because it ain't going nowhere. This stuff is intense. Then I'm going to take, this is one of the new eyeshadow palettes that they came out with. This is in the Not A Basic Peach color. I cannot believe I effing dug my freaking finger into that eyeshadow. I was so mad, obviously. Ugh, I can't believe that happened. And that is such a pretty shade too. It's so soft and just creamy and I cannot believe I dug my finger into that. But before we do anything, we're going to set the primer with the same powder we used to set our face. I'm just taking it on a Morphe 521 brush. Then we're going to go into this shade for the transition. And I'm going to take it on a R40. And we're just going to run that in kind of the crease, not so much, kind of that upper transi transition. Can you even speak, Angel? <laughs> the transition kind of area upper crease in the crease a teeny tiny bit we're just gonna blend it out so once it's gotten to the color that I wanted it to be I'm gonna take this darker brown um, I think it's a really nice color all the colors in this palette by the way are pretty good except for maybe one color they're all really creamy there is a tiny bit of foul fallout but it's not anything that you can't work with um, but I'm just taking that color on an R39 brush and we're gonna do kind of what is this all oh, oh my god I can't talk right now what is wrong with me um, we're doing kind of like a halo eye so going on the inner part of the eye and the outer part I've noticed with these shadows um, that you kind of have to pat it to get the intensity that you want otherwise they kind of blend out I mean not that they blend out into nothing but I definitely wanted it to be intense so I just kind of had to pat it in then I'm gonna take this gold color it's definitely not as intense as the that pinky one I dug my finger into um, I'm just using it on my finger um, but you'll see that I kind of didn't get it to the intensity that I would have liked it to be. So I'll take it on, um, I believe this is a BH Cosmetics brush. Um, I have no idea what it's called, but it's a <laughs> flat shader brush. I'm just going to spray it with that facial spray and it definitely intensified it a lot more. And then I'm just going to blend the two shades together and make sure it's all seamless and nice. And then I'm going to take that same brown color and I'm going to take it on a Morphe 432. Um, I really actually like this brush for underneath the eye. Um, I'm just getting underneath there, you know. Then I'm going to take the liquid lipstick um, in the color, the shade is teal. This is one of their new colors. I'm taking it on this bent eyeliner brush. This is a Morphe 217. I was not having much luck with it at all. I was getting so frustrated. Um, so I ended up just taking a Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, I think this is her, it's the number 27 brush. Um, and I'm just using this as eyeliner. I really, really, really wanted to wear this one, but I figured it wasn't as wearable on the lips for most people so I figured hey let's give it a go as eyeliner because why not 
I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of frame for a lot of that, but that's how it is. It's not the best wings I've ever done, but it'll do. Then I'm going to just take this shimmery color and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with it. Um, I believe this is a crown brush. Um, no, it's not. It's Elizabeth Mott brush. The brush is like completely so old. It's just another flat shader brush. Then I'm going to take this teal shade. I'm so freaking disappointed in that teal shade. That is honestly the only reason why I bought that palette is because of that blue shade and it is terrible. That's the only color in that whole palette that's like absolutely rotten. And then for whatever reason, I don't have the footage of me applying the mascara on, but I use the Wet n Wild Max Volume Waterproof Mascara. This is going in the trash. I freaking hate this mascara. It's terrible. Don't buy it. Um, but I ended up just putting on Salon Perfect Lashes, and um, this is in 614. Um, this is also another thing I really, really, really don't like. This is just a retractable black eyeliner. It's terrible. It's honestly just going straight into the trash. It literally did nothing for my um, waterline. It was just, it was terrible. Look at my face. <laughs> this is another thing that I absolutely hate. This is just another pencil. This is supposed to be a coal pencil, but again, literally no color. No color at all was coming off. It was so upsetting. Just felt like I was poking myself in the eye. It was terrible. Then, what I'm going to do for my lashes, I'm not going to put mascara on them, but I'm going to put that blue liquid lipstick on it because um, I wanted to tie in that blue so it wasn't so random. So I'm going to take it on an M250-02 and I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with it. Please be careful if you try to do this. Don't poke yourself in the eye. Then I'm going to just put on, I believe this is the one in Give Me Mocha, and I'm going to put it on mostly the outer part of my lips. Um, not so much the middle because I want to add another color um, kind of do like an ombre sort of lip this is in nudist peach and then I'm just gonna put that in the center kind of just blend the two together until I get the color I want Alright, guys. so that is the end of the video I hope you liked how the look turned out I'm actually really happy with how it turned out um, I didn't have liner and I was like okay I want to do liner but I really 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 wanted to like play with this blue liquid lipstick and I didn't want to put it on my lips because I feel like most people will think it's not wearable so I figured I would use it in a different way so definitely let me know if you like those little tips and tricks because I could definitely give you more. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely found products that I'm going to be using on the daily and I definitely found products that I'm going to immediately throw in the trash. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!